peace family it's young aries the warrior the one that is ready to defend his honor and his right and his loved ones when that time comes boom i'm gonna be the first to go but this is a very important topic I'm here to talk about martyrdom and the Saturn fear matrix loop. Fear is false evidence appearing real. That's all fear is. It's an acronym for false evidence appearing real. Real. That's all fear is. Bust down. Bust down. Bust down. Bust down. Bust down. <laughs> but no, let me get for real. Fear is false. Why do I say that? People are scared to die because they think they'll go to heaven or they think they'll go to hell and they'll burn forever. You all know that's false. Because if you understand that your energy and energy can't be created nor destroyed, why the fuck are you scared of dying when dying isn't actually what it seems? It's just false evidence appearing rare, appearing real. When you die, you're not really dying. You're simply going to the next phase or the next cycle. This shit is a wormhole. It gets so deep. My nigga, you might die in this reality and be transported to the next planet and the next reality to live out your purpose in a completely different planet, completely different language. Who knows? The next planet, they might have no white people conquering their planet. You might reach utopia in your next life because you worked hard in this life so the whole point is to work as hard as you can in this life spiritually mentally serve out your purpose right so that when you do pass away you will reap the benefits and the rewards in that next reality why do you think when the muslims or them islams when they will be suicide bombers and blow things up people will tell them oh if you do this and you do it in the act of martyrdom. You get 99 virgins. And you get rewarded in the next life. In paradise. Nigga that shit actually is true. What is a mortar? What is martyrdom? Martyrdom is somebody who died or shed blood. For his political, spiritual, or religious belief. So. If you die as a warrior, as a king, as a mortar in self-defense, my nigga, at least throw a punch when you dying. At least throw a fist. Or at least say in your mental, I am losing or I am dying. I am losing this physical existence. And I am sacrificing myself for my religious belief. And in my next life. What I did on this planet, I will have it harvested and reaped. If you die in fear, you get sucked back into the Saturn moon matrix. Fear is false evidence being real. It's nothing but a loop. You get scared for this, you don't get scared for that, you don't get scared for that. Then next thing you know, you're just in a loop being scared for stupid things. Don't let that shit hold your mind. People who smoke weed are so fucking paranoid and scared. That's analysis paralysis. That's why I gotta leave the weed alone, family. It's fucking up how y'all think. I don't care if y'all say it's good for you. No, that shit is fucking with your mental. Okay, it's good for cancer. You wouldn't have got cancer in the first place if you wasn't living the good life. If you wasn't living a healthy life, you wouldn't have got cancer. If you was living right and you was living by nature, nigga ain't no cancer gonna pop up. 
That shit is impossible. Sometimes these doctors be lying and say you got cancer just so they can reap money. If a doctor ever say I got cancer, nigga, my time is my time. I ain't doing no chemo. Let me die. <laughs> if a doctor say I got cancer, nigga, your time is your time. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Simple. Stop being scared. Everything is predestined. Your days are spiritually synchronized and numbered. Everything is set out. When it's your time to go, my nigga, it's your time to go. Get that in your head so you stop being afraid of dying. Because your time to go is your time to go. If you accept that and know that you have to feel some pain, you got to shed some blood to get to the next stage. You got to let some blood drip. You got to feel some pain. You got to suffer, sacrifice. So once you get to the next life, you will truly reap the benefits and you'll be a martyr. You will be an ascended God. In the next life, and you could come back to this planet in a non-physical form and help other peoples. Like Malcolm, he lives through me. Martin, he lives through me. Tupac Shakur, he lives through me. These are martyrs. They're still alive. Their spirit, their essence is still here. And they're pushing us. They're giving us the energy we need to keep going. That's all it really is. So when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Peace.